What's going on, Wealth Giants? My name is Ryan. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to do a breakdown and analysis of Tesla and why I think it'll be worth a $450 to $500 billion company within the next three to five years. Now, I'm not saying go ahead and go dump all your money into Tesla right now because it's going to make you a quick buck in the short term. This is a long term perspective on Tesla where you could make thousands of dollars if you put your money into it now or later on when it dips after everything all the hype goes down it's a bumpy ride with Tesla you never know if it's going up or down so just keep that in mind but before we begin I've noticed on the YouTube algorithm that you guys respond better to my videos when I tell you guys to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm also if this video speaks to you please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below also if you have a question or just a comment Please leave that down below and I will get back to you on it. With that, let's begin. So the first thing I think Tesla has that can help it become a half a trillion dollar company that all the other car companies do not have is a great leader like Elon Musk. Now hold the phone. I understand he might not be the greatest guy in the world per se, but you cannot deny he is dedicated to his company beyond all reasons. He is a great leader, he has a proven track record, and he knows how to build hype and capital to help the company grow and expand. One thing I really like about Elon Musk is I've read the autobiography of Steve Jobs as well as Elon Musk, and there are so many similarities when it comes to hype, drive, as well as creating phenomenal products that people love and that I feel is key to building a successful company that will grow into a ginormous company that can pretty much revolutionize the world. So you're going to hear me make a lot of comparisons between Apple and Tesla and the reason for this is because of the business model that they both share. They are both luxury brand companies, okay? They both say, hey, look at me, I have status, I have money that you're basically a peacock showing to the world, say, hey, look at me, I am somebody to be recognized. Okay, you don't go out of your way to go buy an Apple phone or a computer because they're the highest quality you go out of your way because they make you feel good that you're familiar with them okay not saying anything against Apple users I have an Apple phone I have an Apple computer I love Apple same thing with Tesla Tesla is a luxury brand item you see a lot of social media influencers using them so they make you feel like you want to go out and buy them and People don't care about going into debt when they're buying a phone or buying this car. They care about the status and how they make you feel and how cool they look. I mean, you can see it in the Tesla models. They spell out sexy for crying out loud. S3XY. Came out with a pair of short shorts that I can't afford that. I wish I could. I mean, I mean they look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. But the point is, is that they are luxury brand items. And that is something that you cannot compete with. You cannot compete with a statement. Just look at Apple and how big of a company they are, which leads into our next thing. Tesla does not advertise. This is very important because this is a very expensive portion of a lot of companies' business models, okay? For example, Ford. General Motors are always coming out with ads saying, hey, come get our next model. Hey, come get this one that's won a lot of rewards. Okay, Tesla doesn't need to do that because they're like Gucci. They're like, hey, we got status. We got luxury. We come to our store and that's that. On top of that, they have a lot of social media influencers who drive Teslas. They don't need to advertise. One of the major things that they did during the Cybertruck, for example, the reveal, okay, the majority of the people who went there were social media. They were YouTubers. They invited all these people to come and basically record and show off to the entire world who watches them on YouTube and social media and Instagram and all that stuff and said, hey, we are buying this model. We are buying this vehicle. They advertised for free pretty much because they knew how to target Elon Musk, his hype. He's one of the most famous CEOs because he knows how to work social media and he knows how to manipulate it in his favor. The next thing is, is Tesla is building a loyalty brand. There is no middleman. There's no car salesman, no car dealership. When you go onto the website, you are buying a car for the exact same price that everybody else has paid for in the past. And that is something that you cannot buy. That is something that you have to give for them to give back to you, which is loyalty. And that drives customers back to buy more of your products and increase your revenues and your profits 
in the future. Now let's go ahead and go into the technology portion of Tesla, which is very important and the main reason why the stock price keeps going up and up and up, which is their batteries as well as their autonomous driving. Now a lot of people like to focus in on the autonomous driving, but I want to focus in on the batteries because without the batteries going, being able to go the distance, there's really no point of an electric vehicle. Tesla has finally broken the 400 mile barrier, which is more than what any other car company has even come close to. On top of that, they have battery day coming up, which is very important because this is new technologies for their batteries, which could possibly allow them to go more in harsher weather conditions, as well as further distances, which can change everything. On top of that, say they want to sell these batteries to other car manufacturers, they can receive royalties as well as a patent fee on all of these particular companies that decide to use their technology. If Tesla decided to do that, they don't have to, but they could. And then you have the autonomous driving, which is also also revolutionary and can save tons of lives but also on top of that opens up new revenue sources like autonomous taxi networks now let's jump into the most important part of this video which is their revenue sources this is the most important because this is where you see why this company can become a half a trillion to even a trillion dollar company in the future first they have their cash cow which is their cars okay you have the sexy the model s the model 3 the model x and the model y they produce the income that drive the company right now they also also have charging stations which are solar powered which charges vehicles and allows these vehicles to basically function if they are not able to stop by at home and charge their vehicle quickly now they collect a small profit from this but the charging stations say they decide to lease out to small companies like McDonald's and other companies that want to drive Tesla owners to their business to spend money at their businesses they can lease out a charging station giving Tesla a small fee to keep it there now on top of that they have that touchpad screen in their vehicles this you are able to stream to which they can charge a small fee to receive data to the car on top of that the app store that they can have in this particular vehicle that is basically turning this company into a cloud service as well. Then you have their insurance company, which is also a very cool portion of their company. It's only available in California right now, but it's a cheaper form of car insurance for Tesla owners. And they could expand this out to other states, hopefully, as long as it doesn't infringe on monopoly laws and things like that. But insurance companies, this is a 200 plus billion dollar industry and if Tesla can grab hold of the Tesla owners in this industry and basically branch out and when this becomes a Goliath of a company they will own basically the majority of the insurance industry which is also amazing and will drive the market cap up I already talked about batteries and how they can become a form of revenue in the future so I'm not going to talk any more about batteries but keep that in mind but then you also have the autonomous driving portion of the company that is expanding further and further over time now as soon as they get all the bugs and kinks figured out which can be over the next three to five years basically they can allow their old vehicles buy them back and send them out as a fleet as a ride hailing service which is also another 200 billion plus dollar industry and they can start collecting into that and raise their market cap that way this also opens up another form of revenue which is ads ad industry is very important and very huge as you can see from Google and Facebook but this allows them to tap into that by playing ads over their speakers as well as that big screen in the front of the car they can run ads across that throughout the entire ride hailing service which allows them to collect into the ad industry on top of that the cherry on top which is solar city they got their solar roofs and their solar walls and that also adds to their revenue and their market cap and I can see that becoming huge in the future which can increase their revenues and their profits on the bottom line anyways with that guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm also if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting that subscribe button over to my right it's an ugly mug looks just like this one and I will see you guys in the next video